Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Clips for Cancer, the best sporting event in Southwest Florida. And I say sporting event because at the rate these kids shave, it should be a support. There is a lot of artistry and talent. And the true heroes are the kids at Galasano battling cancer right now. So we want to give a shout out to all our fighters during Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, as well as the awesome survivors that are here besides me, ready to tell their stories, along with their brave community leaders that are braving the shave, bearing it all, taking it down to the wire. You insert the pun you like best. I call it the bald and the beautiful because this really is an amazing crew. And this morning, our theme is, I feel, philanthropy's finest. Because not only do we have the support of great community leaders who have stepped up to sponsor this event and make it happen. Great Clips, where we're standing, has 17 locations supporting us. Florida Radiology Consultants has stepped up as our presenting sponsor and has two of their doctors right here beside me to walk the walk along with the patients they help treat. Also, the John E. and Elise Price Foundation and the Dorsey Law Firm have all said this is worth it. These kids are worth it. So we're going to get right into the action. We have some kids that a couple of minutes ago, this room was pretty loud. They are excited. This is their chance to turn the tables. They get to be empowered to take the hair of somebody else because it wasn't their choice to lose it once upon a time. So let's meet Dr. David Johnson, who has some incredible hair. He kind of got put up to this by his boss. Dr. Tom Presby said, hey, we believe in this event and said, you have hair. I do have a lot of hair. So I'm ready to have Caden here shave it off. And Dr. Johnson is one of the radiologists with Florida Radiology Consult. So you see what happens to these kids. You see the impact of cancer on families. And you said that that's not really fair for a kid. Exactly. And it takes so much resources to support these children and their families through such a difficult time. And I believe this is such an important thing to support. All right. And Caden Williams walked in and was like, oh, wow. So what did you think when you saw Dr. Johnson in that head of hair? To be honest, um, he is his top head looks like um like Chewbacca from like Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love these kids because you get honesty at its finest. All right, Caden was six when he had Wilms tumor, that is a kidney cancer. He has beat it. You're going to be almost four years free, right? Yes. All right. Are you ready to shave? Like, let's get right to the good stuff. Fire up that razor. All right. This is why we do this. As Dr. Johnson mentioned, these kids need resources. So as Caden's getting the razor ready and we're getting ready to take this. <laughs> this is why we have great clips. They are the experts and this salons have been awesome to help us out. All right, we're going in for that first cut. <laughs> I didn't get half of the head off. It's getting stuck. I feel like there's no mercy in this situation. Are you okay? I'm good. Feels It feels really good. It's like getting a massage. <laughs> well, you ought to feel like you've got some air conditioning coming in. It does, yeah. Get a little weight off my head here. And how did your family feel about this bold move? Well, I did ask my wife for permission, and she was cool with it. So, um, you know, again, for a great cause, and we are able to raise a lot of money. And really, that's the most important thing, to help support the kids here. Caden is, like, just picking up clumps and going in. All right, so as uh, Dr. Johnson said, you okay, buddy? It feels good. So are you gonna become a professional barber at this rate? To be honest, yes. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, yes. So watch out, everybody. This is the future stylings of Caden Williams. So as Dr. Johnson said, this goes to help provide the resources for Barbara's friends. That is the Pediatric Cancer Fund at Golisano oh. Children's <laughs> Hospital. Caden's just having way too much fun. Part of it is just watching what happens. But without the resources, we couldn't keep kids close to home. And that is the goal of Galasano, to keep kids close to home. So if you think Dr. Johnson is getting the best haircut of his life right now, pull out your phone. Let's make a difference. Text BFF to 243725. Let's show Dr. Johnson some love because he looks confident. Caden looks like he's going a little crazy. <laughs> Caden is having the time of his life. And that's what is really fun for these kids is this is that moment of empowerment. We're going to come back and ask Caden, what are you doing? To be honest, I feel like I'm shaving the head of Chewbacca. You feel like you're shaving the head of Chewbacca. Is that your favorite character? No. 
So when you're going through cancer treatment, you have to get a port. And to help kids, they usually try to make kids think of it as a superhero or a way that they're gonna cure their body and stuff. And Caden loves superheroes. So you had a name for your port. What was your port's name? Black Panther. Why was it Black Panther? Because he's my favorite superhero. Because Black Panther's a superhero. I mean, he is a man of few words, but great artistry. Caden, <laughs> you're never cutting my hair. I know. If I do, then oof. So Caden's just practicing because he's going to be shaving the head of Mayor Kevin Anderson of Fort Myers on Sunday. Um, so he is gearing up. Again, Caden Williams. What? what? What lotion do you use? It's too dry. It's too dry. I'm not lying. It's soft. Dr. Johnson's getting lots of hair critiques from Caden Williams as he just goes in. I, we're never giving Caden a razor again. Kevin uh, Anderson, I'm really sorry what's coming for your head. We're going to check back in on Caden as he continues to do the stylings of Dr. David Johnson. Up next is a dear friend and a great community philanthropist, Mark Collins, in fact, just honored by Gulf Shore Life as a force of philanthropy for Southwest Florida. And you stepped forward to honor not only these kids, but a dear friend. Yes. Well, uh one of my best friends from childhood is fighting cancer in California right now. And I'd been asked to do this before, but this year it just seemed right. And then I met Lily and we just have had the greatest talk. It's so important that we support, especially children, that their needs. Lily, what do you think about Mr. Mark getting ready to lose all his hair for you? I think he's going to have to throw away all his hairbrushes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That is styling advice right from Lily. And Lily, you've got four or three sisters. Yeah. And one of your sisters, how old is your baby sister? Four months old. So Lily was only four months old when she was diagnosed with leukemia. She's now eight, obviously beat that. Do you remember anything? You were so little. Yes, I actually do. I remember my parents carrying me into the hospital this wow. one time. Yeah, so what do you think about Mark doing this for kids like you and all the kids like your sister if she's ever sick and needs Golisano? I think it's a good support, like, for kids. Yeah, and Lily's quite the artist. She does ice skating and figure skating. But you're done with talking, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> I have done a competition now, and two more competitions are coming up. All right, so in the Olympics for figure skating, we're going to watch for Lily Bendel. But, Lily, we know what you're here for. Turn that razor on. Let's All get right. going. Oh, she's being kind. Oh, she's, she's being very about. kind. Yeah, I felt like I was a little bit of a loser next to Dr. Johnson. <laughs> no, it's not about the hair. It's about the heart. And Mark Mark did fundraising in, I'd say, Fast and Furious style. You got your supporters to raise over $5,000, but it is not too late. If anybody out there promised Mark they would make a difference with him, you can text BFF to 243-725. Help Mark Collins. Support Mark Collins. We know he's doing it for his friend Sparkle out in California and he's very brave because he has a gala to go to later this month and is not going to have much hair but he said it's worth it for Lily. Lily are you having fun? Yep. <laughs> What's the best part? Uh shaving. You just like going for the hair? Yeah. So if other kids are watching this what would you say about why it's important to help kids at Galasano? Uh because it's like makes them feel better about losing their hair. Yeah, because you can see the support from other people in the community like Mark. Yeah. Oh, he just went. She just took it off the top. Are good. You, right. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's doing good. I can tell. She, she's got a lot just kind of hanging. It's got to tickle a little. It does. <laughs> so, Mark, what would you say? Because you've got so many people that have stood behind you, said this is an amazing cause. Um, what would you want to say to the rest of the community watching this? Give. When you think you can't give, give just a little bit more. It's so needed, and we're so fortunate to have Galasano here in Fort Myers and Lee County. There's really nothing around us that's like it. And the needs are so great. And it's great that the families don't have to worry about these things, such as medication treatment. So if everybody does a little, it adds up to a lot.
Amen. And that is the goal of this. Through this event, we've had over 700 people contribute what they are inspired to give. And Mark said it, so many of our families don't have the resources financially or even medically to battle cancer with their child. Think of what you've gone through in the last year with the pandemic. Now imagine being told that your child has cancer. We've had 100 families walk into Golisano since the start of the pandemic and hear those words. So not only are they dealing with the loss of a job or the loss of resources or the loss of insurance or fewer hours at work or their kids being homeschooled, they have a child with cancer. And so that is why we are here today because cancer doesn't care. It impacts all these kids. And up next is a rock star lady because look at this hair. This is Elise Snyder, a former ICU nurse. Now she does a lot of technical things behind the scenes for Lee Health. And Elizabeth almost looks like your daughter. I mean, it is like you walked in and this was like, wow. <laughs> she could be my daughter. And you have daughters. Yes, my daughter, Mia, she's almost 17. And my son, he's almost 11, Adrian. And you've done this once before. Yep, the first year. I wasn't even planned. I just saw what was going on. I asked what was going on. And I, I said, people are shaving their heads. I'm like, I want to shave my head. So I jumped right in. And Elizabeth, you have battled cancer since you were pretty young. You were five years old. You're now 12, have glorious hair. What do you think about Elise saying, I'm in? Well, actually, I think that's a great, um, that's really brave of you, first of all, because you have such long hair and it's gorgeous. And um, I just think that this is a great event because it brings awareness to kids with cancer. And it, it's, it's just fun to support kids with cancer because it gives them the support and courage to say, I can go bald and I'm gonna still be looking pretty every day. And so I just think that this event is absolutely amazing. And it honestly brings so much joy to my heart to see that participants like these people are so joyful to shave their head because not you don't see a lot and it, especially girls. This is so inspiring. So well said, are you ready? You got the razor? I mean, like what is the tactic for this? And we're gonna continue to talk to Elise because as an ICU nurse, you've seen a lot of people at their worst. Yes, I have. I used to work at the um, SICU at Health Park. Yep. Oh, got the razor? Oh, she's going right down the I told her to. This is the best way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so what about this? Because doing this twice, so like once uh -huh. is wow, twice is just impressive. I just know what to expect, you know? And um, I cannot believe I raised so much money. I went so beyond my goal. And um, this year is especially important for me um, because I'm doing this for um, my friend's uh, daughter, Lucy. I know they're watching live, so hi, love you guys. Um, she's currently battling um, cancer, so, um, so I'm doing this for her, for sure, you know, and all the other kids, so. And as Elizabeth said, this is so empowering. If you are feeling inspired, again, this is a fundraiser. These people have put up their heads for a price. Text BFF to 243725. We are getting ever closer to our goal. You're watching a ticker on the bottom of the screen. Again, thanking some of our sponsors, the Price Foundation, Great Clips, Dorsey Law Firm, and of course, Florida Radiology Consultants. But they do this for the kids. And We've had two kids diagnosed within the month of September, which is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. And the reality is the battle is not easy. We recently lost a child and that has been so hard on our unit because while we work so hard to make everybody healthy, the reality is cancer is an awful disease. So these community leaders, these kids stepping forward to brave the shave to make a difference does make that difference because of Elise and Mark and David and uh, the other David. And we just, we've got so many people here. We have kids that are getting the care they need. So as Elise is getting some serious air conditioning, we're gonna just quick go back into Mark and Lily because Lily's now doing some designs in the back of Mark's head. She's really getting into it a little bit, getting some professional help and styling. And uh, David Johnson is lost the surfer look and now looks like he is just ready to hit the beach with some additional sunscreen. We'll give you some sunscreen on the way out. All right, Elise, it looks amazing. And we thank you so much for your support. Is there anything else you'd like to add here with your like twin sister? No, I'm just, I'm just so glad that I can do this. Like, you know, I couldn't wait. I was so excited and um, I just, you know, thank everyone for donating and I'm beyond blessed. So 
And Elizabeth, I think you have like some professional tips that you need to give Caden because you're doing really well. Like, he feels amazing. He's not hurting me. <laughs> this is fun. You've done this before. Why is this so fun and empowering? Because kids with cancer, they just, they ha if you're like shaving someone's head, it's such a great thing because it helps you feel better if you ever had cancer or are going through cancer. And so I just think because this is, this is my dream now, I'm going to become a barber. <laughs> so, I just, <laughs> so I just think it's so much fun and I absolutely love it. And while she said she might do a barber styling gig on the side, you actually want to be a doctor or a lawyer. Yes, I do. That's very true. So it is all about getting kids like Elizabeth healthy to pursue their dreams, to do what they want to do in life. And we have a great individual who really believes in the kids, has two sons of his own, and has been a volunteer at Galasano Children's Hospital and said, you know what, I do real estate now, but I want to make a difference. And you were really inspired because of the, an experience you had at Galasano. Yes, I had a short stay, very minor compared to what these kids have dealt with, but in that little bit of stay, it it kind of gave me an idea of what they do. Um, I'd volunteered in other areas and just decided that would be a more effective way for me to do something that mattered. So that's how I became a volunteer and how I ended up in this chair roundabout way. <laughs> <laughs> and not only did he wind up in the chair, he was the first to meet his goal when we launched this campaign just over a month ago. So he's got a lot of support. And Callie over here, he talks, uh, David talks about his kids being at Galasan, but you were at Galasan. You had brain cancer and you beat it. What was fun about Golisano that made it better than just going in for all these awful treatments? They treat you like family. So um, they would play board games with you. They would talk to you about like stuff that isn't hospital related. So you feel like at home. Yeah, you feel like you got family, you got friends. And now you got a friend in David. Are you ready to cut his hair? All right, fire up those razors. Now, Callie actually last year shaved her dad and her 12-year-old brother, Tanner. Um, so she is very experienced at this. There it goes. And uh, fun fact, it's David's wife's birthday. So, David, I'm really sorry. I hope you're okay tonight. Oh, I'll be fine. She's a very supportive of the cause. So. <laughs> and, David, tell us a little bit more. So you do real estate. You're out with the community. And you've really helped spread the message. Why is it important to raise the awareness about what we have at Galasano? Um, I think it's just important to let people know that our community, this is really our community. Um, and when I was told Callie, I mean, she is my community. Her mom's a teacher at my son's school, and I didn't know that before. So it's not something that really affects people that you don't know or hear about. It's people that you're walking with every day. And I'm guilty of maybe, not guilty is the right word, but this kind of brought me out of my comfort zone because most of my friends and even family didn't know I'd even volunteer at Galasano. But I realized there's no way to raise money or do it unless you tell them what you are and maybe it prompts somebody to do the same. Awesome. That's what's amazing about this event. We have so many people come forward, be inspired, and we hope you are again inspired. So we encourage you to learn more. You can go to barbarasfriends.org or text to give BFF at 243725 to support kids like Callie and awesome leaders like David who not only volunteered but walked the talk and is now losing his hair to help the kids. And Callie, you're being so gentle and cautious and getting every single little hair. I mean, she's doing a very good job. What is fun about this, Callie? That you get to experience like what other people go through. And so by shaving other people's head, it doesn't feel like you're the only one. And so. Yeah, you got everybody behind you. It was okay to go through what you went because people are here. All right, we'll let Callie get back to her super styling job. She's doing a really good job. So Callie is the careful stylist. Caden is the wild stylist. Elizabeth is definitely the most interested stylist going in. And Lily here. Lily, what did you do to Mark's head? Shaved it. What? But there's something else on his head. It's not blood, folks. What did you do? Uh, drew a heart on his head. Aww. Aww. You got a tattoo by Lily. Right. Custom tattoos by Lily. It's a new skill. Don't worry. It's Crayola washable marker. Right. You're okay. Did you have fun, Lily? Mm -hmm. What was the best part? Uh, shaving. She's in it for one she thing. Yeah. You she can really... come back next year, and I'm sure she'd give you the same haircut. Yeah, she's good.
she's got a lot of talent. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> We've got some more talent over here. We have Dr. Ramaswamy, who is a Lee Physician Group doctor, who last year actually wanted to get involved, but it, we had so many people interested that you were the first on the list for this year. Why are you passionate about shaving your head and supporting the kids? Well, uh, first of all, as a primary care physician, I've seen and taken care of a lot of kids uh, with uh, cancer. Um, and uh, my daughter is a pediatrician at Golisano, and she has also taken care of uh, kids. Um, and uh, so uh, I think uh, it was a very noble cause. And uh, uh, the fact that uh, Golisano has made a commitment uh, that uh, they would take care of any child, regardless of the family's ability to pay. Uh, this was uh, something that I thought was uh, uh, a very uh, noble uh, cause. And then you meet kids like Annabelle. And uh, does that change your perspective, meeting the kids here that have survived and, and their personalities and where they're going to go in life? It, it absolutely puts a new spin on it. And uh, it... Uh, also um, gives that a degree of optimism that kids can beat cancer. And uh, if they receive the right treatment uh, from uh, a very dedicated institution such as Golisano. We do have a get dedicated staff. And I know, Annabelle, you were eight years old. And what would you say about the doctors and nurses at Golisano and how they treated you? Oh my gosh, they were amazing. They didn't make you feel like you were in the middle of a hospital going through treatment. They made you feel like you were at home and it was just amazing. And you said that this staff also really encouraged you because you had bad days. Like not every day is a picnic with cancer. Yeah, they were just so encouraging to get through it and they didn't really make you think that you were going through anything. They just let you have fun and go through treatment at the same time. And you've got super long hair because you have never cut your hair since treatment, have you? I have not, no. No, and so what does it mean to take off his hair? You know, it means a lot because that was one of the hardest parts for me was having to shave my head. So knowing that doctors and other people are just willing to have cancer patients shave their head is just amazing. And it's a little bit of fun. Yeah. All right, so let's get into the action. Let's fire up that razor and get going. Annabelle is now a junior at Ida Baker High School. She's about to celebrate being six years cancer-free. And fun fact, I met Annabelle when she was actually in treatment. So this event also gets to reunite a lot of people, connect the community. As Elise said, you never realize how small your circle is. And David also said it really well. These are people on your street, in your block, at your school, that are going through battles and struggles that you may not realize. And Dr. Ramaswamy pointed out, that Galasano made the promise that they will never deny a child the care they need, whatever that means, because of a family's inability to pay. And that is such a comfort to our families. When they hear, hey, Barbara's Friends got this. Barbara's Friends is going to get you transportation to get to your treatment, going to provide you a meal bedside so you don't have to leave your sick child. Um, that is what this is all about. And Dr. Ramaswamy, almost done here. Now we're going to come over. Juan Carlos is our survivor. He's got a great head of hair. A couple of years ago, he actually took off his own hair to honor fellow cancer patients. And we've got Dr. Lewis Magnus with Florida Radiology Consultants, again, saying, not only are we going to sponsor this event, I'm going to lose my hair. You've met Juan. What do you have to say about this event, Meeting Juan? Uh, Meeting Juan is great. He's such an inspiring kid. He, uh, he plays football, baseball. He's uh, four years since his last treatment. Um, it's just uh, inspiring to see somebody uh, beat their cancer. And Juan, what do you think about people like Dr. Magnus here just stepping up and saying, all right, take my hair? I mean, I think it's a really great cause and, you know, shaving their heads to inspire their kids that they can, you know, finish treatment. I really think he'll match bald. <laughs> <laughs> I was going for a mullet, but bald will suit him better. All right, let's fire up the razor and see if he does the mullet or the bald. And I know we've heard from a lot of parents, too, that this also helps these kids come out of their shell. It's a different experience for our kids to take this razor, empower themselves. It brings back a feeling, but it replaces that feeling of agony of losing their hair with a lot of joy. So again, if you are inspired, if you are feeling the joy of this event and wanna honor these kids and these heroes and these adults, it is text BFF to 243725. We are getting so close to our goal 
And we are out here raising money during Childhood Cancer Awareness Month because, as these doctors have pointed out, no child is denied care. Every child gets the care they need. We're one of nine centers in the state of Florida that can do what we do. We are Children Oncology Group certified and a member of this group, which is your world-class best excellence group. So these kids don't have to leave home. They can still go to school, they can see their friends and family, and they can get the care they need. Juan Carlos being very delicate. Again, we've got like professional barbers in the house. Are you going for a certain motif or you're just doing like the fade first? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going in. So we're gonna let Juan Carlos kind of really come down, get Dr. Magus. Why don't you give him a nice like down the middle? You're being so gentle. Like just go for it. There we go. That's what everybody at home wants to see. Take it off the top, right down the middle. His colleague over across the aisle is cheering. This is Clips for Cancer, folks. We appreciate your support. We appreciate Florida Radiology Consultants, Johnny and Elise Price Foundation. Great clips for having us. If you're more interested in this event, you can log on to clipsforcancer.com on the Lee Health Foundation page or visit a great clip salon. Make a donation to one of these heroes. We're going to post the after shots of every shavy here so that you can see that final look. Again, thank you for your support. Again, we cannot do this without you. You, the community, make the difference. You make these smiles. You create the magic. Every bit you give impacts a child like you met today, and it stays right here at home. Thank you for sharing the morning with us. Thank you for inspiring community and power. Let's celebrate these kids in Childhood Cancer Awareness Month in every way we can. We'll see you next Friday.